Hello everyone, welcome to Jenny's Food Network. Okay, today I wanted to read about, um, there were two comments about my video titled, Take Vitamins or Not to Take Vitamin Supplements. So, I wanted to share this because it really has a good point to it. Okay, so to the first comment to my video, so my video response is that I will read this off first and I will dwell on that, okay? All right, it reads, I think as long as you eat good, healthy foods, you don't need to take vitamin pills. If you have a really lousy diet and don't intend to change, then maybe a one-a-day vitamin is better than nothing. Also, some vitamins are better than others and all natural. So that would be better and something that is easily absorbed. So I can totally understand this person. It's either like, oh, I don't eat healthy anyways, so I might as well and take something that's healthy. I'll try to get a better quality than other type of quality that are, that are, that are not that great. So, um, it's up to people, you know, I'm not here to dictate what they want to do with their lives, you know, if they want to party hard or, you know, not take care of their diet properly and eat greasy food like at 2, 3 in the morning after going to the bars and clubs, you know. I mean, believe me, I used to do that to myself when I was young. And, like, in my 20s, early 20s, I used to party a lot too once in a while and go to the bars and clubs and I love to dance you know I loved you know club music and I would dance 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 away and I'm not much of a heavy drinker anyways but once in a blue moon I'll take a, a, a shot you know I wasn't much into beer or wine or anything like that but I was definitely more into like hard liquor shots and that was in my early 20s <laughs> and that was like you know over 10 years ago and before I ever had kids of course and so for me I'm totally over that stage of already of course and I know how it used to be like all you want to do is have fun when you're in college you're stressed out from studying you want to go out and have fun and party with your great friends you know and so some you dance 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 sometimes they'll drink shots to drink alcohol and you'll do it because you know because everyone else is doing it so and then after that you go out to eat and eat like really and the only places that are really open late are like fast foods, you know, so then you tend to go eat unhealthy fast foods with some french fries and hamburgers or whatever you're ordering. So yes, it's not a great combination with with high calorie beer or like whatever hard liquor and then eat it with, grease, um, with greasy food. And you're like, okay, well, I don't eat healthy in general. Even when I go out, I still don't eat healthy. So I must, might as well pop in a pill. Well, you know what? It's up to people. You know, in life, you only have, like, one life to live. I mean, it would be great for us to be all reincarnated, living another life, life after life. But if you're living it now, it's best to, you know, watch yourself and do the best you can for your body. Because in the long run, you will suffer. You'll be, end up being in the hospital. Your body will start developing cancerous cells. And we don't want that. So taking care of yourself now is the best you can. It's the best part. Better now than never. And so everyone always thinks that at least... If you have a lousy diet, that's not good at all. You're better off taking vitamin pills than to have nothing at all. Well, it's up to you because if you want to shortcut it down to vitamin pills and not make the time and effort to eat like fresh, healthy foods, fruits like fruits and vegetables in your diet, then it's really up to you. I mean, and another thing is the fruits and vegetables, the fresh ones that you eat, those are the ones that are going to give you a nice glowing skin. Those are the ones that are going to give you a lot of fresh antioxidants. Those are the ones with the natural juices that are fresh, with fresh enzymes that are going to do your body good. So you decide how far and how much effort you want to put into your body. That's all. And I'm going to go to the second message comment, okay? The person said, around 11.30 p.m., there's also some people that eat a lot of junk food pretty much every day but still don't gain weight. Often, those are young girls, my sister included. She's around 23 years old. But you can see that they are skinny and not pumping with freshness. But they're considered to be healthy because they're not overweight but pretty thin. I don't know if you see what I mean. Really, my sis and her friends are, for example, do drink alcohol and barely drink water. They just drink sodas for lunch and dinner. They never eat fruits. Maybe twice a month they eat a fruit, not to mention vegetables. That's weird. But if you look deeper, the skin is not toned at all. Some have cellulite, though they're pretty thin. I guess the junk food is showing off there. I mean, it's totally true. I mean, people think that 
oh, you may be skinny on the outside, but internally, you may not feel too well. Like, you may not notice because people, when they're young, they kind of take life for granted. I mean, I know I've taken life for granted. Like, when I was um, young, in my teens or even in my early 20s, I would, like, try to eat healthy as possible, you know, and, but at the same time, I was going out to once in a while, staying up late, you know, and going out to eat unhealthy foods, you know. And so, it, it's, it, it really depends. Like, like, even though, okay, just, okay, even though people may look nice and beautiful on the outside, like, they may be slim, they might have nice curves, you know, and they don't have to work out much, they still have a really nice hot body, but I tell you, time will tell, time will come. I mean, these young girls, I used to be young myself, you know, I'm 36 years old, I used to be young, I know, I, and I was really skinny back then too. I, all I had to do was just work out a little bit, lift, lift a little bit of weights and do some cardio. My body was really nice. I had a nice stomach, nice flat tummy, never had kids, never been pregnant, and I was always really skinny, had really nice um, curves too, and and I didn't, I mean, I, I was never much a heavy drinker, and I did not smoke cigarettes at all, so I was never a smoker at all either. So thank God for that. Luckily, I wasn't much of a heavy drinker, and luckily, I wasn't a smoker. So thank goodness for that. But girls who smoke and drink alcohol, they're going to take a toll on their body. I mean, you look, at, look, you look at the girls these days, girls even in their teens, girls even in their early 20s and mid-20s, they have more wrinkles than me. They might have more heavy weight gain than me. But of course, some will have a lot nicer body than me. Well, that's because they never had five kids. But if they keep up those bad habits of smoking and drinking, partying out late, eating all the unhealthy food, they may still be beautiful when they're young. Hold on. Give them until once they hit 25 years old, things will change a little bit. And wait until they hit in their late 20s going towards the 30s, things will change a lot more. And when they hit their 30s up to when they're 35 years old, that's when it's going to start, okay? Enjoy your young, sexy, hot body. Enjoy abusing yourself when you're young. Enjoy taking yourself for granted because time will come. So my time came when I hit my 30s. So, so all I'm saying is that, yeah, they may be beautiful on the outside because they're young now, but it will catch up to them. Their metabolism is going to slow down. They may think that I can eat all these fat and calories every day or every week, and it won't affect me much, but it will affect them. It will affect them even more when they start getting pregnant, when they start having kids, one kid after another. Their weight gain is going to start. <laughs> their weight gain will start, and it's going to take a toll on their body. So they may say, like, you know what? I don't have to worry about it until later in life. No, it's best that you worry about it now because your eating habits, your level of exercise and effort is going to matter now while you're still young. Because if you think about it, if you have those bad eating habits, it's going to catch up to you and it's going to bring up into your later adulthood. So if you're eating poorly in your late teens or in your early teens or even as a young child, you might carry those bad habits as you get older. It might be really hard to, um, to get rid of and stop. So you really think about not only yourself now, but think about your future. And it's up to you. Like I said, I'm not here to force people to do whatever they don't care to do. That's up to you. I've been through with my life. But just let you know that things, habits don't change overnight. Habits are hard to, um, to stop and get rid of. So, Brandon, can you guys go to the room? Go to the room and close the door real quick. Jet. Go real quick. So, so people may think like, you know, I don't have to worry about it until it comes. No, don't worry. It will build up in your body. You know, like the stuff you're doing to yourself now, if you don't take care of yourself, it will build up and it will show up on your skin and your skin will start having uneven tone. It's not going to be as glowing. It's not going to be having this nice, shiny, healthy skin glowingness to it. And the skin, you could tell if it's tight or if it's saggy, you know. And you could start seeing the, the way people don't take care of the skin, how they have sun damage, a lot of sun tanning. And you'll see a lot of freckling, a lot of wrinkling around the eyes, around the mouth area. So you know what? Not only taking care of yourself in terms of vitamins or eating healthy, but also taking care of yourself of what you do to yourself. 
of your internal bo in, entire body. You know, I mean, think about your environment as well, not just like what you intake as healthy foods or, you know, I'm going to pop in a pill because um, I'm not, I don't have time to take care of myself and this will take care of my vitamin deficiency and so on. So, so yeah, I mean, this is a great topic for people to think about, you know what I mean? And sometimes people tend to shortcut things to um, take vitamin pills and stuff and, and they tend to be like kind of taking it for granted or forgetful to really eat the healthy stuff that are um, a lot better choice for them. But you know, people can decide what they want to do. So that's all I can say for this. And like I said, you may be young and beautiful now, but time will tell and time will catch up to you when you start aging like me. So that's all. Thanks for tuning in.